Hey there. So this month of May, the topic is depression. And again, I believe it's one of the things that many of us don't want to um, admit that we deal with on a regular basis sometimes. Some of us take medication for it. And yet when it happens, we believe that we may be the only ones dealing with it. And that's really not the case. I've, as I've shared uh, the last couple of times, I've had times in which I uh, was dealing with depression and had to go on medication. And sometimes many of us can get to the point where we feel like leaving or taking our own lives is the answer because the pain gets so severe. We feel so helpless. We feel so powerless. And we think that that would end the pain. It ends the pain. It also ends our lives. And so that's not what God wants of us. You know, and the world has convinced us that if we're depressed, if we have bad things happening in our lives, if we're going through struggles, that we brought it on ourselves. And as my grandmother would say, that's really a lie of the devil. It's not true. Sometimes we go through pain uh, to show us an answer that God wants us to see. Sometimes we go through pain uh, to remove us from situations into a better place. Sometimes we go through pain uh, because we are on the wrong path and God wants us to be back on the path that God has chosen for us. There's a lot of things like that that can lead to depression if we continue to dwell on it too long. I mentioned uh, in an earlier uh, video about, you know, when we totally focus on how we feel and this helplessness and helplessness, it really can become very overwhelming and all those things can cause pain. But one good thing is to remember that God is still there. God is always with us in the midst of our depression, in the midst of our pain. God is there. Remember Job, when I talked about Job before, in the midst of everything he had going on, at one point the pain for him was so severe that he cursed the day he was born. And yet he continued to live because he knew that at some point in time the suffering he was going through wouldn't last forever. At some point in time the depression or the feelings of hopelessness will not last forever. We may need medication to get us through, but Philippians tell us that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So I challenge us all, myself included, when we get to those points where we feel depressed, we feel overwhelmed with life, we feel anxious, and we worry so much, to remind ourselves that God is in the midst of it. And if we turn to God and just talk to God about our depression, I truly believe that as it did with me, your depression will begin to, to be lifted, you begin to feel better, and God will continue to show God's love to you. Because God is already there. We just get so into ourselves with depression that we forget that God is there. Depression. Let's continue to talk about it. Come on back again um, later on this evening or whenever you watch this. There will be another uh, devotion reflection on depression. Bye.